Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miroko Chan episode number 12 and this is the final episode of this season. Okay, the previous episode um we had uh, another shocking twist. Uh it it was revealed that actually the way we are thinking that Zen was uh probably someone who was killing cats or something like that. That's not what was happening actually. It was actually the opposite. He is someone who likes cats, but because of his past and uh, like you know his uh, childhood, he like you know the, these uh, like you know like he he's actually facing a few problems. Number one, uh, his mom who is dead now, his over controlling mom who's dead now. She is even after her death, she's trying to control him, trying to keep an eye on him as a, in a spirit or in a ghost form and. <clears throat> you know like always like following him around all that stuff that's number one number two he has been going around at night trying to find out who is the person who is harming the cats that's why he probably comes across you know dead cats and the spirits of those cats probably latch on to him and that's how like you know these, these spirits are actually hovering around him all the time and since miko saw that obviously miko wouldn't realize what was happening she thought that yeah this guy is probably someone dangerous uh, which is actually not what what was happening <clears throat> and another thing is like he also misunderstood Miko he thought Miko was actually harming the cats like that's why like you know this is like, like there's like big misunderstanding going on and which kind of got cleared out as he <clears throat> tried to save the cat and Miko realized that she has been actually judging him by the spirits that has been following him which is pretty normal to do you know like if you see someone like you know followed around by uh, like multiple cat spirits cat ghost spirits demonic spirits like obviously you're going to you know like feel a bit scared of him and kind kind of judge him without getting to know him so that's what happened obviously miko realized that and miko was like i'm going to help you out she actually <clears throat> used her um divine protection the last chance that she had to take out the spirit of the mother and that ghost is gone so is Miko's protection I'm not sure what she's going to do after this if somehow she gets into trouble who will save her this time um, we'll have to wait and see what happens after this maybe we'll get some conclusion in this episode or maybe we won't maybe we'll have to wait for this next season and I'm not even sure how much the manga is ahead of the anime I'm not sure so it probably will take uh, if the manga is not that much ahead it probably will take a little bit of time for season 2 to come out um, if the manga is ahead maybe we'll get a uh, season 2 more sooner so we'll have to wait for that I really hope this continues if this if, if by any chance this doesn't continue as an anime I'll probably pick up the manga because this is one of the like you know such a great show and yeah anyways so let's start let's see what happens this is the final episode so yeah let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start all right here's a countdown three two one go <clears throat> Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Zen is like, what's happening? Who is she talking to? <laughs> My God, <laughs> that's scary. And there you go. I wonder if he'll, she'll get protection again if she goes to the shrine and prays again. Who knows? Like... Yeah. Wait, he can see that? Or wait, what? Wait, he can see that? No. Oh my god, it's still alive! What? I mean, it's dead, but I'm, I'm talking about it thing is still can he see it now oh no no she he cannot see he cannot see mm. 
Yeah, he's talking to Miko. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh my god. Okay, thank god. Wow, it's bleeding all of oh my god. Yeah. Took a lot out of them. Yep. That's it. <clears throat> um what the Um, obviously we weren't able to understand what they were saying, but they were talking about something. <clears throat> For Zen, this is so weird. It like It's like Miko went out suddenly and then he, she comes back again and starts crying. Zen is like, what's happening here? <laughs> okay, they're here. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, well th this was an emergency so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, calm down, Hana. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? What? Are these the spirits? Yeah. So. Is that really the reason why? Oh, yeah, that can be it. Maybe Hanazara. Yeah, that might be it. Oh, this is the first cat, isn't it? I think so. Yep, the first cat was all along with him. Can Yulia see this? I'm not sure. No, she, she can only see. Oh god. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah that that yeah obviously like she i don't even know how she'll react if she realizes what's happening yeah it'll just scare her <clears throat> great <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> um what's happening oh the cat hmm <laughs> 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 
wow this cat is very calm cats aren't usually i guess it's been living with them for quite a while that's why but for strangers usually cats are not that calm like at least cats that i've seen my god <laughs> mocha <laughs> mocha is an interesting name <clears throat> oh wow nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people have their own way of you know showing affection mm, oh oh yeah he has uh all right yeah for a different reason Hmm. Does, does he like suspect something? Yeah, he's thinking about it. Okay. Oh, he, he's going to open the thing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Oh. Um, Zen, you're being a bit too free. You're being a bit too free. Okay. This poor lady, she's she's just she's just, you know. Ah. <laughs> um that was a bit bit Wait, what? Oh my god. My nearby Toronto. Oh my god, what the hell was that? That implication? That that lady was... Okay, I'll talk about that later on. Okay, I wonder what's going to happen now. <laughs> My nearby Toro. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh, he sent. She she sent a letter, Yulia, I think. Hmm. What? Um. Wait, who sent this to her? It was I don't think that was G Yulia. Oh my god, this thing, the person who has been abusing the cats. Oh god! Okay, this is like a random character, we, didn't, we don't even know him, I think. Oh! God! Wait, did he just... My, did he just kill him or some what? Uh, oh my god! No, I think he just dazed him. What is happening? Like, oh my god! 
Okay, yeah. my suspicion about the lady is a little bit like, you know, I was thinking of something completely different. I'll talk about it after this ends. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that face. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ignored. <laughs> um, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, what's happening? Yeah, I think so. Like maybe maybe we should just go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Offering. I wonder what you can give as an offering to a shrine. Some origami, you know, and maybe some food. Okay, here it is. This is a fox shrine, isn't it? It's a kitsune shrine. So... Oh. It's completely abandoned, like... Yeah, it's... Oh god. Oh, they're here. Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, the big one. The big one is here. Yeah. Is that like a nine-tailed fox or something? I think so. Okay, there you go, Dango. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. What's happening? Oh. Oh my god. She brought a lot. Oh my god. Oh. They're not happy. They don't like food or something? What? Ah. Wait, what's happening? No, I don't think... Uh, okay, this is a problem. They want money? No, no, oh my god! Oh, they are pissed. Oh, no.
Okay, this this is not good. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, was that the reason why they were so... No, wait. Um... What? Was that a dream? Oh my god, Do what the hell? Oh god, wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. So... Oh, she, he's still here. Okay, I thought he passed on or something. Huh. Just your usual. <laughs> that monster. OMG. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but if something comes on top of your face, obviously that's going to... Oh yeah, this thing. We saw this. Wow, he, she has really gotten a lot more tall, not tolerant, but used to this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My God. No, oh, Yulia's here. <laughs> Dragging her along. <laughs> Second breakfast. Ah. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> um, you think <laughs> so this has happened before, yeah.
<laughs> oh! Don't fall now! Oh god, just as I said. <laughs> Hana's going to win. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Screaming what? <laughs> um okay oh wow wait this come is following her oh boy <clears throat> Oh my god! Whoa! Wait, this is we're back to that first episode. This is a, this. God. Okay. <laughs> what? Um. Wow. Um. A fantastic last episode, I have to say. Um. They showed us now. There's a few things that I need to talk about here. First of all, the first portion, obviously, we saw what happened after that. Um. Uh, the whole, like, you know, um, what do you call it? Uh. Use. Uh. Ex exercising the the uh the, the ghost the the mother ghost that was hovering around zen that happened and now the answer is not clear here whether the other cat spirits also got exercised because uh, the mother ghost was exercised was that the reason or was it because hana went there because of her life force or life aura those uh, ghosts got exercised we have we don't have any um explanation on that but it is either of it and I'm, I'm like, my guess would be it was because of Hana, or who knows, like, you know, like, but because of probably some reason, the no, um, you know what? I think it's probably because the mother, uh, like, you know, the 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 spirit, uh, his his mom's spirit went away because Hana was always there, you know, like it's not like this is first the first time, Hana's meeting Zen, she she's based she's all the time present in class, so why did nothing happen? then why now so that that probably answers my question it was most probably uh because the his mom the spirit went away was exercised that's why the cats also probably got exercised uh, after that or something like that happened and so yeah anyways um either of the reason is is, is probably why this happened now Okay, now here's uh, oh, and then Zen gets uh, ownership of the cat. You now she adopts a cat uh, <laughs> called. You gave her the name Mocha, <laughs> Mocha, something like that. And uh, yeah, it's good. Like you know, like now she he he got the cat, and you know he he'll probably able to keep it okay. And you know, with with uh, he'll move to a house which has a. Uh, um, what do you call it uh you know, which allows cats and pets and the veterinarian his friend is also going to help him out probably when he is you know uh, out in like you know teaching people like you know in school and stuff probably the veterinarian will have the cat with him or something like you know like 
it'll be okay it'll be fine hopefully and yeah okay um and obviously like you know this is the first time i guess he's actually getting an ownership like you know he's he's, he's going to take care of a cat because all the time he has not been able to because of obviously his mom and all the other stuff so yeah it's good here's the thing that actually kind of bothers me um not bothers me but like the lady who has been bringing him food now the things that zen says here is that just a sec he says that okay you don't need to keep doing this i've been meaning to tell you i hate eating food that someone else has made it makes me sick to my stomach what if your hair fell in it um and I had getting other people's containers the smell like everything they've ever held thank you for thinking of me also I'm moving soon good day all's well and good up until this point what the hell happens after that the lady starts saying that here it is um she says how did he catch on I hit them in their real good too. What? Like, now. God, I, I feel like there's something going on with this lady. Like, what did he, she hide in a food, food container? Like, the first thing I'm, like, you know, like, it, it's actually really, what can I say? Like, I don't want to think this in that in this way but it feels like they're implying that you know like this lady actually was in the previous episode talking about how cats are going missing and stuff and you know our cats are dying and something like that she, she was saying um i feel like this episode this this the lady talking here you know saying that i hit them in their real good too implies is is he she actually has something to do with the cat's deaths and like I don't want to even want to think about it, but if, if you, you can probably understand what I'm trying to say, like did he did she just like I don't know like like what would that line even mean? You know, like I hit them in their real good too. Like I don't know. I don't even want to think about it. But this lady is shady. She is probably doing something. This line in itself. It might be something completely different which we are thinking too much about maybe we're being a bit too paranoid thinking about stuff which is unthinkable or maybe it really is that case like you know like maybe he just she's just saying about like you know i hit them in their real good too maybe about something completely different maybe some like you know like i don't know something like maybe she, she was like you know mixing something in the food that she probably she did not want maybe spoiled food or something you know like she was like ah like my food is spoiled what should i do let me just take it to my neighbor here you go <laughs> you eat it and you know like you can do like you know and, and clean the container and give it back to me like maybe it's as simple as normal as that or maybe it is not that normal maybe she's doing the unthinkable you know that that's what I'm trying to say. I don't even want to think about it. And I'm not even sure if I'm, I'm sure they'll probably address this later on. Uh, if we have a second season or probably in the manga in the future uh, chapters, they'll probably address this or maybe they won't. Who knows? So, yeah, this 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 lady, this this whole line kind of completely changed the tone of that whole scene. I was at the beginning. I was like, what 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 the hell is then? Like, you know, like she she's just a nice lady. She she's bringing you food. Uh, you know like she, she she she's just a nice lady just 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 wants to give you food and like you know like obviously miko told you to be a little bit more free and like you know talk with freedom but not this much freedom like you you're basically insulting her and saying that oh i don't want it like you know maybe you have your hair in it or something <laughs> you know i don't like it like i'm i'm going away so don't bring that ever <laughs> to me again like i was like my god you're being too rude here <laughs> like being free and being rude are different things and i was like oh my god the poor lady she must be sad and then this happens like uh, wow okay i guess <laughs> like what 
Now, as I said, I might be too paranoid. Maybe this is just something very simple. Maybe she's just like, you know, giving him spoiled food or something. Or maybe it's something completely different. So yeah, anyways, no need to like, you know, think much about this. And uh, okay, here's another weird thing that happens. I'm not sure what that was. This, uh, the godmother, she gets a picture of Hana and uh, Miko. With, with the like you know with, with the face like being censored or something like now here's one thing i i feel like they they oh yeah they actually uploaded that photo in social media didn't they okay i was thinking like who would even send that picture like hana was like uh, not hana sorry uh yulia was not there with them at that moment so obviously she can't send that and that's not even a picture digitally it's, it's like a printed out photograph so I'm guessing probably someone took that from the social media, printed it out and sent it to her. For what reason? Like, you know, these mysteries are really weird. Like so many things happening without any, like, you know, any answer and any kind of hint. Like, like, like the question is who sent that picture to her and why did they send it to her? Like, what's the point? Like that's one. Like at the beginning, I thought maybe it was Yulia, but then I realized I thought that why would Yulia send it? And even if she sends it, why in printed format? Like how? Like and look, I don't know. But yeah, another weird thing happens here. Not weird, but this was fairly understandable. What happened? Um, the guy who has been like you know like abusing the cats. Um, uh, he kind of gets caught by Zen. Zen tases him. And I don't know where, what he did after that, you know, like what he did to the guy. The guy is missing apparently, you know, like they're putting out missing posters. So I'm guessing Zen probably tased him and took him somewhere. Now, <laughs> I, I really hope he doesn't do something that's illegal. Like, yeah, she could have, he could have just like handed him over to the police. But... I really hope that he doesn't do something like that because you know he 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 like we we understood now that he's a nice guy but yeah but uh, I don't know anyways I'm sure we'll get more answers in the manga or in the anime if it gets a season 2 now that was that okay and then comes the whole thing with uh the shrine uh Miko thinks whether I should go and give you know offering to the shrine. Now obviously that was a dream, but that was extremely realistic because I thought that, that was actually happening. She won't go there in a dream, obviously. But at that moment we did not know that was a dream. She goes there, she gives out you know down dangos to the shrine and like it, it seems as if the spirits are angry and she gives more and they get more angry like for a moment there i thought maybe they were getting angry because they did not want any materialistic possessions or something like that you know maybe maybe they like you know they, they're feeling insulted or something i thought it was probably something like that but you know this is just an offering and like you know like i thought maybe that was it but then like you know she even throws in her money all her money she empties her purse and, and and the spirits get more mad and i'm like wow we, we're screwed like what's going to happen now the the bigger spirit kind of transforms into a weird type of a monster with bells as its eyes and it it, it did look like a nine-tailed fox or something you know like it had a multiple tails and since this is a kitsune shrine um it wouldn't surprise me if that was like a nine-tailed fox or something but nine-tailed fox don't look like that who knows like what that was but yeah and um then we see weird monsters popping up i'm like what's even happening why are monsters popping up here like for a moment i even thought that are they going to get transformed into monsters or something like what's happening but then she wakes up and i'm like oh god like what? <laughs> oh, like okay i guess that was a dream <laughs> so that was that like we don't even know what the spirits actually want from Miko but yeah and then like you know we go out and we see how Miko has got, gotten accustomed to this so much she's like yeah this is normal oh it's just a, a ghost sitting 
<laughs> there oh that's just a ghost staring at me nothing too serious and she's become so accustomed to everything and yeah like with with the experiences that he she had in the couple of episodes <laughs> obviously he she's bound to get used to all of this like seeing ghosts is like a normal part for him her now it's like a part of her daily life and then we get a little like you know section of like you know Yulia, Hana, all of them like you know talking, having fun, eating, and like you know doing stuff. And then in the end, we see the spirits, three spirits actually following her. Now we don't know what they want. You know, are they, are they like you know like why are they following her? Like that that scene that this does seem like it's a little bit intimidating. You know, like you know, like suddenly like spirits are actually following Miko. But maybe it's something very like you know, um, very different than we're thinking it to be. Maybe the spirits are just concerned about her. You know, <laughs> you know, like they're just concerned. They're like, yeah, like we have been helping this girl around. Let's just you know keep following her and see if she falls into any more trouble. If she really falls into trouble we'll just help her maybe it's just that you know maybe it's not something very dangerous or maybe it could be the opposite like who knows <laughs> what they want so yeah i i really think she does needs to go to the shrine and confront them sooner or later and actually know what they want and like what the conditions are for them to help them for help her you know like if, if if she goes back and she gives them more food more offering will they start helping her again will they give her three more turns to help is that how it's going to go or is that not how that's not going to go or, or are they going to get offended if she gives them food or offering like how does this work she needs to figure that out quickly because the ghosts are getting dangerous you know they're also getting intelligent we saw that uh, uh, that kid ghost who actually disguised itself as a human to trick uh, you know miko and attacked her like that's how like you know ghosts are getting more intelligent and like, you know there, there there's a multiple type of ghosts and maybe like you know because of some slip up probably miko will fall into danger again so for that day you know for that day she needs to actually go and confront these spirits actually know what they want and like you know like how are they going to help her in the future even if they even want to help her in the future or not all that stuff she needs to figure that out quickly and maybe she'll do that probably i'm i'm i'm, sh I'm guessing the manga is still like obviously the manga is still ongoing i'm not sure how many chapters it's in but and i'm not even sure how many chapters the anime covered so as i said if it's a bit a lot of new chapters are left to be adapted maybe we'll get a season two sooner than we expect and if it's if it's caught up to the manga then we probably will have to wait for you know probably a year or so for this to resume again um i feel like this 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 anime is quite popular this you know, this season was quite popular a lot of people liked it i think so yeah hopefully everything goes well and we get a new season if if there is no chance of getting a new season i'll probably start the manga because yeah this is such a good story and wow then the last scene my god <laughs> uh, like you know like that whole scene of <laughs> distorted <laughs> you know like i like when they were showing the sponsor you know like kadokawa and like you know they were showing the sponsors and everything i was like oh it's ended i i paused the video and then i saw that wait a minute it's not ended there's like 30 or so seconds left and like then then obviously i came back and resumed it and this is what happens <laughs> my god so yeah that was really <laughs> that was really well done like you know like that was like the spooky factor was really done well uh the you know in the end the ghost actually comes to the screen and it's like can you see me <laughs> as if asking the audience uh wow all right that was good that was a great episode final episode of miruka chan at least for this season so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So obviously this uh, anime has ended, um, this like, you know, like I, it will be this uh, Miruko-chan will be replaced by another anime, which I'll, I'll talk about later. This is barely like, you know, we're barely halfway through December I'll probably like, you know, let you guys know what I'm going to react to next season. 
Um, there are a few shows that I have in mind that I want to react to and there are obviously a few default shows that I'm definitely going to react to. So I'll, I'm going to talk about all of those later. Maybe make a community post later on and you can inform you guys what I'm going to react to next. But yeah, that's it for this uh, show. I, I loved it. I really, as I said, like, you know, I like I've read the, a few, a couple of epi uh, chapters of the manga, two or three chapters in the beginning. And I liked it so much that as soon as I got to know it's going to get an anime, I like, you know, like I, I stopped actually reading the manga to wait for the anime. And the anime was as fantastic as I thought it would be. And as I said, like, you know, like I, I was really attracted to the manga while reading the first few chapters because the first one or three, three chapters really showed, like, you know, like gave like such a unique way it kind of attract, like, you know, gathered my attention. The whole episode of, you know, like the ghosts eating other ghosts and all these things like this type of a little mystery, a little horror, a little slice of life, a little comedy. All this mixture really made me interested in this and you know that's why i i was reading the manga but as soon as i got to know the anime is out it's going to be out i stopped reading it and as i said like if if we can, can don't get any confirmation that this will have a season two i'll probably start reading the manga after five or six months you know uh, i'll wait for five or six months just to, to get to know if if this gets a continuation as an anime i'll not read the manga if this gets a season two it will probably get a season two but we don't know when it will but anyway so yeah guys that was it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys uh, in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day